All right, so here we're going to graph this polar curve, r equals 2 sine theta. Again, we could start plotting points, thinking about angles theta, uh, picking values for, you know, getting corresponding values for r, and plotting points. What I'm going to do is turn it back into a, um, a rectangular equation involving x and y coordinates. So again, I would like to have an r with my sine theta. So I'm going to multiply both sides by r. So I'll get r squared on the left and 2r sine theta on the right. Well, r squared is just x squared plus y squared. r sine theta is the same thing as y. Well, now I'm going to do the same thing that we saw in another example. I'm going to subtract the 2y over to the left side. And now I'm just going to complete the square. So x squared, if there's no uh, linear term, no x to the first term, we don't have to worry about that part. So y squared minus 2y, this is the part we'll complete the square on. So again, we would take 1 half of negative 2, which is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is going to be positive 1. So we're going to throw a plus 1 inside the parentheses. And again, if you um, got rid of the parentheses, this plus 1 would not have been there before. So that means I have to add 1 to the right side to make our equation equal. And now we would have x squared plus, well, y squared minus 2y plus 1. That factors as y minus 1 quantity squared equals 1. And, you know, if you wanted to, you could even write this as x plus 0 squared. That still gives you x squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 1. So now again we've got an, a, an equation of a circle. Um, it's got a center at 0 comma positive 1. Remember you have to kind of take the opposite signs. And then it would have a radius of, well, we take the square root of the number. Well, the square root of 1 is just 1. So it says what we have in this case is we've got a, a circle centered at 0, 1 with radius 1. So 0, 1 would be up here. So radius 1, so let's see, here's 1, 1. There's a 0, 2. Negative 1, 1 would be over there. So all we're doing is just getting an equation of a circle. It's been kind of pushed up along the y-axis a little bit. And that's it. So again, uh, you could always plot points, picking values for you know, typically what we'll do is, at least when I do them, I pick a value first off for theta, calculate my r, and then I start trying to plot points that way. But again, a lot of times a more efficient uh, exact way is to turn it back into rectangular coordinates. You know, maybe by plotting points I would be like, yeah, I think it looks like a circle if I'm making a good graph. But once I turn it into rectangular coordinates, and I see all the equations, well, oh, okay, now I'm positive that I am, in fact, getting a circle.